Hi, this is Suzanne Hubbard and we're here with Michaela Dawn today and this is Talk Time. Michaela, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm 22 years young, originally from West Virginia. I've been mm -hmm. here for about five years now. Um, I am the owner founder of Cloud Nine Occasions, mm -hmm. uh, coordinator of Project Cleanup, mm -hmm. and just here trying to make the world a better place. <laughs> That's great. Okay, now tell us a little bit about Project Cleanup. Okay, Project Cleanup um, is not just you know a trash cleanup. Um, mm -hmm. The bigger picture with it is to help people with addiction, mm -hmm. help people with um, alcoholism. Um, help you know mothers in need, fathers in need, whatever, however we can to clean up, you know, the entire county. Mm -hmm. The citizen is not just, you know, picking up trash. Right. So it's a support system. Yes, ma'am. That supports a community, a neighborhood, and the individual. Yes, ma'am. Trying, trying to improve everyone's mm -hmm. uh, quality of life. Right. So tell me what services you try to do for Project Cleanup. Okay, well, um, the first the first piece, uh, part one is what I call it, mm -hmm. is the community trash cleanup. Mm -hmm. um, we are going literally block by block cleaning the entire county. Um, after we clean, you know, within the city limits, we're going to be moving to county roads, highways, um, all the way from, you know, from Roanoke to Weedowie to Woodland to Wadley. Um, mm -hmm. Every, every piece of road eventually we will have cleaned up. Um, looking into the adopt a highway, you know, mm -hmm. trying to adopt some of the highways around here, get other people involved in it. Um, but the biggest part of Project Cleanup is the programs and the workshops. Um, we're gonna have programs for uh, alcoholism and addiction awareness, uh, resources for them to get help. Uh, mm -hmm. We're gonna be taking in donations uh, doing fundraisers, things of that sort, and all of that money is going to be going towards getting people in rehab, getting people their homes fixed if that's the issue, um, jobs, transportation to jobs, um, things of that sort. We're also going to have uh, teen guidance workshops, um, even kids down to toddlers, you know, mm -hmm. every age there's going to be some type of program or workshop to help guide them, you know, to the, the right path. Wow. It seems like Project Cleanup is taking on a lot. Yes, ma'am. So, in addition to donations, um, how else are you planning on getting funding for your project? Um, I'm going to be holding three different fundraisers. Um, mm -hmm. The shirts, this is the shirt, five nine occasions, mm -hmm. and then on the back is your promoting. Project Cleanup. Mm -hmm. Um, it's got a Nelson Mandela quote. Mm -hmm. um, the t-shirts, we're selling those. Um, I'm also doing uh, dinners on Wednesday and Sunday. I'm going to be selling those plates starting, I believe, next week. Mm -hmm. um, all, the, all of this money is going towards Project Cleanup. Um, besides from the plates and that, um, bake sales, because I love baking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, we're probably going to be doing like some some outfit type deals, um, mm -hmm. and you know the t-shirts for you know we do onesies for babies all the way to XXXL, you know, right. uh, every size. anybody you know anybody that wants to support can mm -hmm. in some way. <laughs> what got you started on this? What was your inspiration? Um, a lot of people, I don't want to say complaining stuff. A lot of people pointing out the fact that. You know, we've got all these addicts, we've got all these kids being taken from their parents, um, we've got all these, you know, jobless people, these drug dealers, all this and that. But there's really nobody there helping them. So that's where I want to step in. Right. So you heard about issues in your community and you felt led to clean it up. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, the other side of your work is Cloud9 occasions. Yes. Can you tell me what Cloud9 is about? Okay, Cloud9 is an event services uh, mm -hmm. business. Cover everything from bachelor parties to baby showers to weddings. Mm -hmm. Just any, anything that you can possibly think of event-wise, I cover. Um, 
I've got three different uh, service packages, which is event hosts, and that covers mm -hmm. everything from hosting to de uh, decorating, um, includes my entire crew, and uh, I have a decor package, which is just the planning and coordinating of the decorations. So, so event planning, that is acquiring a venue, I imagine, um, flowers, yes, meal prep, meal service, yes, drinks and beverages, and, and anything that has to do with an event. Yes ma'am, from the, right. the entertainment, DJs, um, like you said, the venue and the food, mm -hmm. um, I do do the catering and everything for it, uh, unless, you know, unless there's something that I can't provide that, you, you know, somebody would want, um, or if they just want another caterer, you know, they mm -hmm. have somebody else in mind. Um, it's just, just every, every detail of event planning, you know, if it, if it can be done, I'm willing to do it. <laughs> That's, gotcha. How do you manage this having a family? <laughs> They're the motivation for it. Mm -hmm. I understand. I get it. But how do you budget your time? Well, um, <laughs> it's hard, especially with two kids, young kids, because they are right there just, you know. Um, but Naomi, had, which is our three year old, mm -hmm. she, um, she actually helps, you know. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's great to yeah. have such help. <laughs> So, right. um, it's, it's easier than what, I guess, than what you would think it would be, mm -hmm. um, because it sounds like a lot, it's, it's really time consuming, it is, but those, you know, little three hours after you put them girls to sleep, you know, you can get amazed yeah. at what you can accomplish. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I understand. I do. <laughs> Mine were 26 months apart. I'm with you. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I'm going to switch gears a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, I have read certain posts on Facebook recently about people attacking you. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, I, ever since I made um, Project Queen of the Public um, and have been asking for help, I've gotten more backlash than help. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not really understanding where it's coming from, to be honest with you. It's just a lot of, I don't think the people are understanding the point. Right. You know? I don't think they're looking at the bigger picture. Um, they're just seeing somebody that's not from there trying to pick up trash and trying to bully other people into picking up trash. That's, right. that's not the point of it. That's not even anywhere near what I'm trying to do. Um, mm -hmm. I just, I don't feel like people are taking the time to ask the questions, you know, that they need to ask before making the assumptions that they're making. Do you people. think, <laughs> well, do you think that, you know, there is some miscommunication, misunderstanding about what you're trying to accomplish, number one, and two, how much of that do you think is because you're not a native? Um, I definitely think there's a lot of miscommunication and mm -hmm. um, I'm sure a good bit of it has to do with, you know, me not being from here. Um, I, I don't think, I don't think anybody can type a paragraph on Facebook and people read it and understand exactly what they're meaning, you know what I mean? Because that's like reading a book, you interpret it mm -hmm. how you want to. Right. Um, and so that goes back to, you know, asking. Just, just ask, you know, the question instead of being offended or jumping, you know, jumping the gun to think that I mean one thing when I'm meaning a completely different thing. Um, I think that's, that's the issue with what. Right. Because it seems to me, you know, the, the ideas that you have and the services that you're wanting to provide for the community, number one, they're needed yes. desperately. And two, I mean, they're coming from a good place. You have children, you have a family here, a husband, and, and you want to raise your children in a community that's safe and the people around you to be happy and healthy. Yes, ma'am. And it's not just my children, it's seeing right. other kids going through things that they shouldn't be going through. Right. And, you know, you want to make 
where you live and where your children live and where you're raising your family to be a better place. Yes. And that's where you're coming from. And I'm very sorry that the people around here just aren't getting that. And, you know, that's why we wanted you to be here so you can get that out, what your goal is, what you're trying to accomplish. So some of these misunderstandings would just disappear. Yeah. Because, you know, we're, we all have to live here. We're trying to live here with our families and we want the best for our families and the families that are in our community. Yes, ma'am. So I, I really hope that people will start asking you questions and look at what you're doing and the message you're trying to put out there and realize that it's coming from a really positive, good place. Well, I think, I think another issue is people don't want to accept what's going on in front of them. Right. You know, it's easier to just sweep it under the rug or overlook them, you know, because the people that are overlooking them aren't living like that. You know, they don't understand what that's like. Right. And two, you know, it's a lot easier to, to turn your back on it and to not be in there rather than do something about yes. it but you know we're only as strong as our weakest member yep. and without helping our weakest member we all lose out yep. because everyone every life is important everybody has a chance yes they do and people shouldn't be disregarded and we live here and we need to try to make our world a better place. Yes, ma'am. You're young and you have a young family and you're trying to do these things and reach people and help people. But sometimes people don't want to help themselves. Yeah. And do you see a lot of that in the um, that's, um That's another thing that, you know, that the people that aren't um, you know supportive of this well I'm giving a handout you know I'm giving all these people handouts they don't deserve it right but who are we who's deserving you know well and on top of that you know everybody needs a hand up yeah at some time yes sometimes it's not a handout it's a hand up and in addition to that the children, that you, the families that have babies and small children and just children in general, it's not their fault. Exactly. And, you know, they don't need to be without simply because their parents are jerks. Yeah. And, you know, we as a community and we as neighbors need to step up and help each other. And sometimes that means a handout. Yeah. So a child will not go without something to eat or without clothes or winter coat or whatever. Yes, and a clean, safe neighborhood to live in. And it's a shame that people aren't being a little bit more cooperative with what you're trying to accomplish. I've had one volunteer the entire time I've been doing this. I am sorry. <laughs> And I hope that maybe by what we're doing, we can get a little bit more interest and a little bit more cooperation for you and what you're trying to do because it is a very needed and very appropriate program to try to help do. You know, please, ladies and gentlemen out there, ask for questions. Try to help out the people in your community that are trying to help the people in your community. And don't try to put down young people who are trying to make a difference and trying to make a positive impact in, in our community. Support people, not put them down. Now, tell me, Michaela, is there anything else that you want to tell people that you think that they should know? I would say 
don't be so quick to judge. Um, you never know what people are going through. Mm -hmm. um, and there's nobody that is not deserving of help. Right. Um, I'm sorry. No, don't, don't be. Growing up the way that I did, it's just hard to see other people, you know, other kids go through that. And people think that because a parent isn't doing right, that, you know, just to us, the whole family. Right. Um, there's a lot of kids out here suffering mm -hmm. because there's no help given to their parent. You know, there's nobody sitting there not giving up on them, you know. And everybody wants to, you know, oh, they're an addict, oh, they're an alcoholic, oh, they haven't had a job in years. Help them, mm -hmm. you know, help them. Um, I was taken from my mom at 16, okay? Mm -hmm. So, and it was for, it was with good reason, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that, but had somebody reach out and help my mother and not gave up on her, it would have, you know, it wouldn't have happened. Right. Um, and I don't want to see all these broken families because somebody just gave up on them. Right. True. And, you know, a lot of times, because people do turn their back or, you know, judge people, a lot of times they make situations worse. Okay. People get overwhelmed, people get depressed, and people just give up Completely. simply because they don't know what else to do. Yes, ma'am. And, you know, as people in the community that care about people in the community, you know, it's our job to give people options. At, at least lend an ear. Yeah. And you are trying to do more than that. And I applaud you. And I appreciate everything that you're doing. And thank you. And I hope that people will start, you know, um, making some better choices and not jump into conclusions and maybe be a little bit more supportive. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Michaela, thank you for coming in today. Thank and you. Sorry for getting emotional. No, <laughs> no, because you feel something for what you're doing. Don't apologize for having a heart and being kind and being motivated. No. I mean, it's the people who are don't feel that way that should apologize. So you are not to do that, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Michaela, for coming in today and listening and speaking with us. And this is Talk Time with Suzanne Hubbard. Please support Michaela in her efforts with community cleanup. And also her event services, because everybody likes to have a good time. Support her, her endeavors with Cloud9 occasions. And until next time, thank you.